In this exercise, we'll be integrating our gradebook application with the asset framework. Our objectives for this exercise will be to add the required fields to the assignment entity, we'll implement asset resource management in the local service, implement an asset renderer for the assignments, we'll implement an asset renderer factory for the assignments, and we'll implement the JSP files. Here we are, back in LifeRay Developer Studio. The asset framework requires a certain set of fields from all the entities. We are currently missing the status fields status, which will be used to determine an entity's status in the workflow, status by user ID, which is a status audit field, status by user name, which is another status audit field, and finally status date, which again is a status audit field. We'll also add a status finder for listing assignments by their status. So we'll start by opening up the service.xml in the gradebook service module. And we'll go ahead and add the status fields from our code snippet in our exercise instructions. Make sure we save that. And then we'll go ahead and run the build service task to regenerate the service. Now, as with permissions, the asset resource lifecycle has to be kept in sync with your entity. Whenever you create, update, or delete an assignment entity, you have to take care of the asset resource. So now we're going to go into our assignment local service impl. And we'll implement a new update asset method which you can find in your exercise instructions. We'll also go ahead and add a call to the update asset to the very end of add assignment before the return statement. We'll add a updating asset resource in the update assignment method as well. Should we save that? And finally, we'll implement deleting the asset resource at the very end of the delete assignment method before the return statement.
At this point, we'll go ahead and resolve any missing imports. And we'll save our file. And once that file is done, we'll go ahead and rebuild the service. The service layer is now ready for the asset framework. So next we'll create the asset renderer and asset renderer factory components in the gradebook web module to take care of displaying the assets in a standard way. For example, in the asset publisher portlet. So we'll begin by adding the required dependencies to the gradebook web module. So we'll navigate over to the gradebook web module. And we'll open the build.gradle file within the gradebook web module. We're going to add a dependency for the asset helper utility, as well as the asset display page API. So you can find those in your exercise instructions. Okay, at this point, we're going to go ahead and create a new package within our source main Java. And we're going to call that package com.training.gradebook.web.asset. dot model and within that package we're going to go ahead and create a new class and we're going to call that class assignment asset renderer factory And we'll go ahead and implement that according to our code snippet. Uh, don't worry about the errors you see uh, with assignment asset renderer. We're going to create that shortly. Okay, make sure that file is saved. And now we'll go ahead and create a class
for our asset renderer, which we're going to call assignment asset renderer. And we'll go ahead and implement that according to our code snippet. Again, sometimes you may see this issue where it has an error for uh, gradebook portlet keys dot gradebook. Remember that we actually want gradebook capitalized, and that should fix it. Make sure you save that file. So as the final step, we'll go ahead and implement the JSP files for abstract and full content asset views, which if you take a look at the get JSP path method in the asset renderer we just created, uh, we'll see how that file path is built. So we're going to navigate over to our init.jsp file. And we're going to add imports for the asset renderer and web keys. So we'll go ahead and add those to the list. And again, these can be found in your exercise instructions. Make sure that lines up and save our file. So now we are going to go ahead and create a folder in this resources folder. That we're just going to call asset. And in that asset folder, we're going to implement two JSP files. Uh, the first, we're going to call abstract.jsp. And we'll go ahead and implement that according to our code snippet. sure we save that file. And next we'll go ahead and implement another JSP file that we'll call full content JSP. And we shall go ahead and implement that according to our code snippet. And we'll go ahead and save that. So at this point, you're 
application is integrated with the asset renderer. Uh, however, remember that to be able to show assets in the asset publisher portlet, we also have to integrate to the search framework, which we'll do in the next exercise. Thank you.